This is Jet with Pop Austin Media, and I got Poke Cal and Lil Rick. Is it Lil Rick ATX or Lil Rick? It's Lil Rick. Lil Rick in the building. How's life? Shit, man, it's going pretty good, man. We just taking the steps that need to be took, trying to get to where we're trying to go, man. Just getting it in, huh? You feel me? Let's get it. Well, where where you originally from? Del Valley, Texas. Okay, Del Valley. Some people in the area they might loop that in with Austin, but. That's cool for marketing purposes, but you gonna hear me saying Del Valley, Texas, wherever I'm at. Okay, so you you, you actually just call it. You ain't saying I'm from Austin. Yeah, you say Del Valley. Valley. Okay, I don't. Most people just be like, "Yeah, I'm from Austin." I mean, you might marketing as well. purposes. Yeah. You did, you did, <laughs> yeah, but, but he said I'm gonna represent you. Yeah. Uh, I'm from South Austin, but uh, I moved out to Del Valley, and that's when I met Pokal. Okay, so y'all met out. Okay, um, did y'all go to school together? Middle school, what, seventh grade. Seventh grade, yeah. He's the only other nigga I know listen to Zero. Uh, Pimp C, DJ Screw, SUC, so it was like, it was that click there, you know what I'm saying? Because we fuck with the same shit where everybody else doing what they do. That was listening to the different shit, shit than y'all was? <laughs> Whatever we were popping at the time, man. He said, nah, you keeping it, keeping it Texas. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. So, like, how was childhood? Shit, cool, man. Just be a bad little, bad little dude running around with my brother so <laughs> I had to find my own friend, so. Knucklehead living? Yeah, but. I mean, I wasn't getting in too much trouble, man. Just doing what little boys do. Like, you gonna be a knucklehead. Everybody you know been a knucklehead. How's childhood for you? Oh uh, shit, it was kind of the same shit. Stayed out of trouble. Just my mom always pressed me on school, so that was my main focus. See, I took that serious at least to, enough to at least finish them up. Enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you do yeah. enough to get by. Make it. Make I mean, it look but, like you give but it's so it's so easy now. Like they down there throw you a grade. Oh yeah. <laughs> Especially in COVID and everything, you just at home, some yeah. of them fools. Yeah, it's crazy. Shit. After all that, what? Uh, so y'all went to the same high school, I take it, right? Nah. So he moved out eighth grade year. He moved out to Bastrop, and that's kind of there was a little bit of a disconnect, but came back together eventually. Yeah, back doing his music shit, but I mean, Bastrop cool, man. Shout out my partners in Bastrop. A lot of cats in Bastrop doing yeah. their thing right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. There's some, there's some niggas rapping out there, man. Like C note, sure. C note out there. I think he'll probably say Smithville though. Yeah, probably. Yeah, he'll say Smithville, but I think he'd be out there too. There's a lot of cats. Yeah, EC will fuck with EC. He's always coming through. Yes, yeah, EC. Yeah. Shout out to Young Row too. I think y'all had a uh, little bug and Big Mono. Uh huh. Yeah. Demo, Demo, man. You need to drop some more music, man. <laughs> you need to drop some more music, dog. So it's not BSing. Man. What uh? So musical inspirations. I, I take a zero. A lot, of, a lot of the Southern Underground shit, that's for sure. Road, but I feel like, I wouldn't say that's necessarily, uh, I wouldn't pattern my style like to nobody, but I wouldn't compare them on the road. I'd probably say. Well, yeah, just because you listen to uh, them, yeah, don't yeah, mean, yeah, but yeah. it's just like somebody that you just gravitate towards, you know. Yeah, Some yeah, people yeah. might like rock, but they don't have no type of rock elements in their stuff. Type shit. Damn. Um, so what, what brought y'all into music? Honestly, man, I was always a little nigga that was that was rapping in the group. Somebody beating, making a beat on the table. I'm gonna be the first one to try to bust out a freestyle. Go five minutes straight, <laughs> and it's gonna be hitting all five minutes. And somebody else going, it ain't good. And they telling me to go again. So it's like shit, fuck it. But nah, man, it just it just it just something naturally. I gravitate towards anything music, man. Especially now that I be trying to master my own craft. I listen to anything that sounds good. So I feel like it was just always in me. To be honest, and you too. Was you? Was, did you ever like freestyle? Nah, no, I, no. I was never to do like freestyling at lunch and shit like that. But music was always just something that was a little more uh, emotional to me. Like I, I just took it serious, like the way music makes you feel and shit like that. And Cal was the first to start making music, and eventually I kind of just started bullshitting at home. I was making music in my closet, and he finally took me out to the studio. I, he was not begging me, but telling me like. Come on, just try it this one time. Shit got to get done, yeah. man. Yeah, I'll you got to get it out the way. I'm telling you. Once he took me there, it was kind of over. For Like, from that, I don't know if you know Dollar. Uh, folks with J. King. Yeah. Yeah, they be doing their thing in the city. But Dollar been showing me love for a minute, too. Came out to the studio with me and Cal, and that's kind of when my first song went into motion. We put that shit together, and it was over after that. It just feels good, like, listening. Or, yeah, hearing back something that you made, and you feel all the effort kind of put into it mm -hmm. yeah it just felt good knowing like damn we did this shit you get to like you know what i'm saying um uh, listen to what you your hard work that you put out yeah, you know what i mean exactly um so do you have a favorite you have like a pr favorite producer that's out here currently 
producer as far as beats. Yeah, in Austin. Or do y'all go to out of state and all that other stuff? I ain't gonna lie, man. YouTube and them type beats. Oh, no, yeah, like, that, that's a big one too. I can sit there and write a whole song to it, record to it. If it's trash, I didn't spend no bread. And if it's cold, I can lease that hoe. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, I get you. Nah, there is one cat out of San Antonio right now that be making some hard beats. Hot boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he he's raw, but other than that, there's not really anybody in the city that I'm kind of like fucking with that makes beats. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm Cap Atlas Beats. Shout out him. I I got a song okay to that. I need to get on some more. I just ain't really got back to that that style yet, but. That's one dude I could think of in the area. So that's some producers out here. They just yeah. need to be getting their stuff out more and let them know. Yeah. Put their tags and make it a brand. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's a lot of marketing that you got to do, man. Shit, crazy. Heck yeah. Do y'all have like a favorite studio to go to out here? Lit up AV, man. Lit, Lit up AV. Shout out Chris, Chris Lock. Yeah, he used to be at Fish Street. Right. Yeah. Coldest engineer in Central Texas, probably the state, bro. Like, Hands down. That's my guy, man. Yeah. We used to call him, uh, he'll appreciate Mini Ritz, because that's, he loves Ritz, bro. That, that's say like that again? Mini Ritz. Mini Ritz? Yeah, you know, the rapper Ritz? Yeah, nah, and he he, be, he flows like him, too. Nah, yeah, that's yeah. my guy, though. I rock with him. Chris making moves, too. He, he, he's spinning out some big shit coming. Heck, yeah. Did I see some 1% uh, one, one records? Was that, was that the wrong? That's me, man. Yeah, that's, talk about that. Just like, so the whole one percenter brand, like, I'm pretty sure anybody who plays sports, like, just anything, if you're trying to be the best at it, they always gonna say it's only the top one percent that's doing it big. So like, I started trying to make a play off that, and it's like one percenter, and you know what I'm saying I'm gonna be Puck Cow, but my record label is gonna be one percenter, one percenter records, and you know what I'm saying once I get my shit established and my shit's in line, man, I'm definitely bringing in some more people who really try to make good music. Nah, heck yeah, my bad about that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's dope. I was just curious about that. I was like, let's talk about that. Do you have a favorite videographer out here? Um, shit, I ain't gonna lie. The, the two videos I got, both my partners shot both of them, so I'm still trying to find one, man. You don't rock with DDI? I don't even know. But do. Yeah, DDI is the um, Dan, Dan the Man, Dan, Trailer Park Dan Studio. I'll be, yeah, seeing, Dan our, yeah. Yeah, I be yeah. seeing his shit. I I need to get... park. They got some shit going on over there, that's for sure. Heck yeah, got a whole, you know, little compound for you to do some stuff. Uh, yeah. So, um, just curious. What do you think um, being MC's uh, rapper's dying? Like, we you think it's a dangerous job now? I know it's funny, you know, but it's happening way Man, more frequently. Not too. even, not even no, on no insensitive shit, but like, you got to You got to know that that target is on your. You have to know. Like it, we don't live in a world where motherfuckers not gonna hate on you for having more money than them. You know what I'm saying? Like like take off that over some bullshit that had nothing to do with them, bro. But it's just like damn. Like, don't be in that situation. You think? I mean, how, how could he have known? How could he have known? You can't stay in the house. No, but yeah. Like, but when that shit do happen, it's just like. Like a motherfucker can go to the grocery store and get shot up now. Like I don't know if that shit was happening back in the day and that it's just cameras is catching all this shit now. True. But like, it's just like what can you do? Like you can't not go make no money. You can't if you want to make music and you blow up off of it, you can't not do shows. I mean you can not wear chains and shit, but a motherfucker might still want to shoot you. Mm -hmm. So I mean and you dying without a chain, so either way. It's just, yeah. it's, it's just kinda like bad play wrong place, wrong time type shit. You just kinda gotta move smart, but that only goes to a certain extent. Shit's still gonna happen. Man, it's just guns is a game changer, bro. And it's like so many reckless people in this world. So you just gotta really pray. Heck Man. yeah, that's no lie. I was just wondering, yeah. what do y'all think about the Austin scene? As far as music, man, mm -hmm. I don't even, and I can't even say that I would have a style that would be it, like for people to, cause you know, like when Key Glock and Dolph blew up, it was like, all right, that's their style. The mm -hmm. Detroit rappers got they style. I can't really say Austin has no identity as far as like what like you hear it and you be like, Oh yeah, that's an Austin nigga right there. Mm hmm So I mean You don't think that about but Quinn? Quinn and FN? Yeah, but I feel like Quinn, like he the biggest doing it, but like I don't really know if motherfuckers are really even able to imitate it on that level. Mm hmm Like who who else would you say has blew up like he has rapping that way? No, I mean, other that's than the people who are it's N F N, right? Mm hmm other than people that are in his group. So, you, I mean. You got to check out uh, Big X, the plug. A lot of people sleeping on him. but he from uh, Dallas? 
I think he's from there, but he lives like full time in Austin. Been here oh, for yeah. a minute. That's yeah, been he, telling me about him. His videos now. does you know millions of views. Yeah, I got a father who always send me his music. Yeah, he, he he's doing numbers and really making motion, but a lot of people just slept sleeping on him. Know, you think they sleeping on him? Yeah, because every time I mention him, people are like who that? Yeah, uh, that's crazy. Yeah, I, I know. Been on for the sure. for a minute. Yeah, cold. B's crazy. B's be crazy. Nah, yeah. He just got that voice. He was meant to make music. Yeah, yeah. So, um, let's see. What do y'all have any uh, upcoming projects? Actually, no. I got a quick a question for both of y'all. Uh, Apple or Spotify? Yeah, Apple Music or Spotify? Spotify. From from like the artist perspective. Yeah, it's more artist friendly. You're able to kind of make your page what you want it to be. I feel like you don't have that luxury with Apple Music. It's kind of just they give you a spot to throw up a picture, but on Spotify, you're able to kind yeah. of put a little bit more into it. True. True. I feel like uh, I feel like uh, I feel what you're saying. I would say Apple Music personally myself, but I definitely I feel what you're saying more. I ain't never thought about it in depth like that. I just always kind of got Apple Music and just ran with it. But personally, I didn't even. Man, we good. Nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah. I always thought Apple Music just because if you get on that playlist, then they'll get that. Um, so I mean, yeah. but Spotify has so many more playlists. I feel like I don't know, it's just stop. It's definitely playlist. more. It's it's more friendly towards the artist for sure. I feel what you're saying on that. I got I, I got one, and like y'all complete the fifth. Just kind you know from the, I'm I'm a, I'm a dude. I'm a single man. What you think about like dating life out here in Austin? Yeah. Ah, he said no, sir. Yeah, I mean, Austin's a big city, but everybody <laughs> knows Austin. <laughs> so you, like, everybody knows everybody in Austin. See, so they everybody just basically. Sleep with each other, <laughs> like in in the mix of that circle. From what it seemed like, I mean, <laughs> everybody really good friends with each other. <laughs> I've been hearing that a lot. They like the Austin, you know, dating scene is trash. Man, <clears throat> it is, bro. Like, and I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was the type of dude. I was only going out two, three times a year, maybe. But like, until I started doing the music, and I realized you gotta start putting yourself out there and being seen. And I started going out way more, and I'm like, damn, I see these girls every weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah, differently. Yeah, exactly. The same little circuit. <laughs> be bad and just, it just ain't no hope, man. It ain't no hope, bro. It gotta be more to it. But I don't know, man. Somebody for everybody. So if you dating in Austin, maybe it's somebody for you. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Don't date on, and don't be going out to 6th Street to find no girl neither. Don't do it, man. The heck, dog. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, upcoming projects. I just dropped a project two and a half weeks ago, 12 songs called Graveyard Shift. I, I did to, see that. I had to listen, listen in party to it, probably like 45, 50 deep. And How was that? Man, I ain't gonna lie, that shit's like, that shit's like, like what's the word, exhilarating, exciting, yeah, yeah. like fun. I don't know, personally to me, especially where I came from, like my first show, you nerve wreck. Fucking up words and all that, oh, bro. Like, exactly. Yeah, I could, you know what I'm saying. So your first show was a bro, disaster. I mean, it was like open mics and shit. Bro, I had <laughs> my partner had a uh, hit me up at like 9:30 the night before. It was up in Dallas, and I went up there and I don't know if the DJ sabotaged me or what, man. But oh. it was just like my the music was slowed down. Listen, looking back at the video, I was like, damn, my voice not that deep, and the music was slowed down. And I was rapping too fast for it. Uh huh. So it was just like. I, I was fucking up and I was thinking, I was like, damn, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this shit too early. Then I fuck up the bar I'm supposed to be on. And then I'm looking around and motherfuckers looking at me and I'm just like, damn, like, man, this shit is going terrible. And then, but I peeped it because on the third song that came around, that hoe was sped all the way up and she was just letting it play. And I was looking at her and I was like, nah, that's not the tempo. And then she thought she found the right one. I was like, that ain't neither. And I was like, damn, man, let me just go ahead and get through this. But. So did you feel Wiz whenever he went off on the uh, that DJ? Did you ever see that? I think I did, but it wasn't too bad. No, it wasn't. So it you wasn't. so you so you felt Wiz? You like man, it's uh, you, you probably wanted to do that especially too. Especially at that point, bro, you gotta like unless it's just some technical shit that they couldn't get right. If it's something that's on your end, you supposed to you supposed to do your job, bro. Like this is what you here for? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. People be real sensitive now, man. Oh Everybody yeah. Wants to be on like it's always gonna be somebody on the other side, like. Uh, it could be something that I feel like everybody should fall in line with or, like, be against, like, real bad shit. And there'll be somebody trying to understand their side. And it's like, for what? But, I mean, that's not that's not even on that 
that level, but no, yeah, 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 my yeah. bad, yeah, yeah. And then my bad, I segued away. So the project you had, uh, you, you said you had the um, listening, right? yeah, listening party, and I mean shit. Not even that they doing crazy numbers, but definitely way better numbers than than all my shit in the past has. So like, I mean, I'm feeling pretty confident about it. It's only two and a half weeks in. We're gonna see where we at in a month, and so on and so forth. You think uh, attention spans is uh, is hard yeah. to keep up with now? Yeah, yeah. So you think that it's hard yeah, to kind of yeah. time when to put out an album, yeah, opposed yeah. to when you like, or or a or a but I ain't or even something. like you have to drop more music now, bro. Like, young boy. I ain't even say he changed it, but he had that shit figured out. People and I like I like all young boy shit, believe it or not. But like, he was putting out so much music, motherfuckers was like, damn, he putting out too much, too much, too much. And now it's like you can't put out enough. And if your song is two minutes, like that's gonna get you more plays, more streams just off that. But they're gonna get tired of listening to that shit fast, so you got to put out another two minute song. Like, so now nah, that's just how the game is, man. Shit change, and like you gotta change with it. That's crazy. Like two minutes and thirty seconds is the new thing. Like man, Minute some of them 50. songs you'd be like, "Oh man, I want this to be that longer." Em, that spot em got em, uh beatbox. That was like a minute, minute some, minute fifty. Most of take <laughs> shit. You know, his shit was a minute forty some. And if he went in jail, he'd probably be on. So it's like, yeah, triple X was like a minute two seconds. Like, are you kidding back. me? What the world? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about uh, you? Uh, shit, coming up soon here within the next probably two to three weeks. I'm dropping this song with uh. Dollar and EC called Fat Boy Dreams. Dope. That one's definitely a club record. We've been kind of testing it out at a couple spots downtown. and It's bopping, so I'm excited to have that one come out and see the response that we get from that. I see you with the, rocking with the uh, the drink. You yeah. fuck, with, fuck yeah. with them? We got our own uh, Scared Money and Exotic Fresco. Yes. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I meant to ask. Good thing you brought that up. Barcode on it and all that. Strawberry Lemonade. Yeah. There you go. Let's go. Yeah, they showing they uh showing hella love. I like yeah, what they're doing. They're that's that's sure. smart. Yeah, Hanjo definitely trying to help whoever is interested in getting to that point. So he's definitely somebody to tap in with. But we got this to promote our uh, single "Scare Money." Me, Pokal, and Dollar. That was that was hard too. Uh, really in, this, in a couple corner stores and all that, man. Yeah, Smoke ATX, uh, the one by South Park Meadows. They got that shit. There you go, there you go. All right, shoot. So, um, 2022, how we in uh, 2020, uh, what we looking for for 2023, really? Shit, putting more shows together. That's one thing uh, we're working on together. Promote, like, not even getting with promoters, but just trying to work it out ourselves, even if it's a smaller venue, just. December 1st. Yeah. It's a Thursday, but look, if you ain't got shit going on, we're going to be at Buck Shots. We finna have some artists out there. We gonna be performing. We finna get a couple more people. Probably people you gonna know. You gonna see a whole lot of promotion real real soon here. So, man, we just Let's making go. moves, bro. Hosting shows, putting on shows. Yeah, we're hosting at Cheers this Friday, too. So yeah, this Friday. Pop us, out this Friday. Us. Y'all pop out, man. Show love to the guys. They doing big things. So where can we find you at on social? Shit, on Instagram, PokeCal, the number one, the letter P. Uh, Facebook, you can find my artist page at Pocal straight up. I don't really be on Twitter, it's a lot of mess on there. <laughs> uh, yeah, especially now. Man, but yeah, man, mostly Instagram. Hit me up on there if you're trying to work. Let's work, man. You hear my music, you're gonna be able to tell I'm making good music. 2023, man, it's gonna be a price coming with it, but these next two months, man, hit my line. We're gonna work, bro. Yeah, you got a time, uh, a time ticking. And then, uh, speaking of that, where can they find your music at? Like on uh, the streaming everywhere, shit. P O C A L. Shout out Distro Kid. You said what? How do they like? Oh, P O C A L. You know, Cap- people slow. You got to spell yeah, it out for bad. these fools. You know, Cal, you know, man. yeah. Not Paco, not none of that other shit, man. Pocal, P O C A L, man. <laughs> and then um the uh, socials and then the, the streaming for you too. Yeah, I'm a uh, Lil Rick ATX on Instagram and Twitter, and then uh Lil Rick on Spotify, Apple Music, every whatever you can find music, I'm on there. Lil Rick. Hell yeah. Hey, man, I appreciate you guys coming through. Y'all keep grinding 2023. Let it be a big year. My guy, Pocal, and then Lil Rick. Hey, this is Jet with Pop Austin Media, and I'm signing out. Let's go. All right, one percent of shit. Thanks for tuning in to our latest interview. Make sure y'all check out the Pop Austin Media page. Like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time.